Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a peek at some of the five most overrated cars in the car industry. So you might be wondering why am I making this video? It's because there's a general perception about how popular car brands they always have good luxury futures, they're very sporty, their cars are fast, very safe. And in general, the companies make it sound like you know, nothing can ever go wrong with their cars. Some car companies have proved that, but not, but not many have. So that's why I'm going to be showing you five of these cars that they are way more overrated than they are actually should be rated. Now let's begin. Number five on this list is the Toyota Prius. The Toyota Prius, you might be wondering why is the Toyota Prius on this list? All the reviews that I've watched about the Toyota Prius say that it's amazing. Well, like I said in the beginning of the video, not all of these ratings are true. While most of them about the Toyota Prius are, there's one main thing that sets it off. It's that they use lithium to make their batteries. The thing wrong with that is that there isn't very much lithium on the earth. So in some time, in some point in time, if they keep on using so much lithium, because Toyota isn't the only car brand that uses it. Tesla uses it in, a, in almost every single car that, that is electric uses lithium to make their battery. So sooner, There'll be almost no lithium for us to use to make car batteries, and we'll need to find a new way to make car batteries. In the long run, um, it, the car is kind of in the middle because it uses lithium to make its battery, but when you start driving it in electric mode, because the Toyota Prius is a hybrid, when you drive it in electric mode, it doesn't reduce emissions, so it's kind of in the middle of how good it is and how bad it is. I can't tell, so if if you think that it that the Toyota Prius is better for the Earth, put a thumbs up in the comments. And if you think the Toyota Prius is worse for the Earth, put a thumbs down in the comments. Next on this list is the Ferrari La Ferrari. It's from Italy, and, and you guys, and most of you guys out there know that most signature cars from Italy from Italy are amazing they're sophisticated they're nice but the la ferrari is all of those things but it misses out on some major things and when it competes against other cars it most of the time loses let me tell you why though it has a 6.3 liter engine that can pump out 780 plus horsepower it's kind of old and when it goes against some competitors, some newer competitors, it doesn't always seem to win in some various things. Like electricity, the Porsche 918 Cayman S can, can go into full electric mode and it can also do hybrid mode. Which means it's running on gas and electricity, just like the last one, the Toyota Prius. And so the Ferrari... La Ferrari cannot completely switch into electric mode, but it can only do hybrid mode, which is kind of a disappointment because most electric cars out there can do that. And one, and one more disadvantage is that the McLaren P1 can do race mode, while the Ferrari La Ferrari can't do race mode. So if you're looking for a sports car, if you're looking for a fancy sports car, I don't think that would be your be the best choice for you and also uh, there are not many La Ferraris out there so not many people get to do reviews because some people want to keep it private that just making it kind of hard to find a good review about the La Ferrari up next on my list is the Bugatti Veyron the Bugatti Veyron is only known for being fat, is for being one of the fastest cars in the world, and it has a ton of horsepower. But mem 
but many of the many of our cars if they're tuned have the power to even beat that so much so badly because when you go to a car show one i heard, once i heard someone saw saw a 5000 horsepower car and the bugatti veyron only has 1000 1000 horsepower the better levels have 1200 horsepower at most and it's not as and it's only designed to drive in a straight line it's heavy making it harder to turn at high speeds and the bugatti veyron is similar to the next car on this list and the last car because it's way too overhyped the ferrari la ferrari and the bugatti veyron are way too overhyped because they seem like the coolest cars on earth and everyone wants to buy them but when but when people tell you the truth about them you want to move away and one of the and one other thing about the car is that it's too heavy and for a sports car to be heavy is not that good because most sport cars are light and they're aerodynamic. I'm not saying the Bugatti Veyron isn't aerodynamic, but some other cars are more aerodynamic. If it was more aerodynamic, it could increase the flexibility. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And a quick comparison, if you saw the Tesla semi, semi truck show, um, it said that the semi truck is even more aerodynamic than the Bugatti Veyron. How weird is that? Don't forget to put that in the comments. The last but one on this list is the Nissan GTR. You might be wondering why is the Nissan GTR on this list? It's a very popular the reason why it's so overrated is because it. People say that it can do so many things. You've seen it in the movies before. And people make it sound like it's the best car on earth. But it's really not because, one, the gearbox isn't that good. Two, it doesn't handle so well. Three, it hasn't changed over the past few years. Because it's only had three redesigns. The, no, actually two redesigns. The common one that we all know and the, the common one from the movies, and the other one that's sort of newer. They're both Nissan GTRs, just this is the pic, this is the picture of the Nissan, the new G, Nissan GTR, this is the picture of the old Nissan GTR. And also, the Nissan GTR was only, was redesigned so long ago, actually 11 years ago, and the interiors of the Nissan GTR was redesigned 2016. It costs more money than the first model now. And it's actually to be exact, it's 50% more expensive than some other than some of the other models. And it's heavy just like the Bugatti Veyron. Actually, I've never had heard anybody say that there's carbon fiber that comes with the Nissan GTR because most people just add carbon fiber to it and it's not as nimble or as competitive as, as some of the other sports cars that are out there and all these futures do you still think that you'd buy this car don't forget to put that in the comments below the last but not least on this video on this video is the Porsche 911. The Porsche, you might be wondering why in the world is the Porsche 911 on this list? It's amazing, it's luxurious, it's fast, it has a ton of horsepower, and it, and it has a good brand to come with it. So that might all be true, but also the car, the car has some bad reputations. One of them is to is to is when you get rear ended or when you hit it or when you hit it in the back of the car hard enough because the engine is located in the back of the car instead of the front like usual cars it would it would have a reputation to burst into flame just like how Teslas do. Though 
knowing there are many good reviews about this car, not many companies want to talk about it because the Porsche 911 is just amazing. It's just so good that they feel like saying something bad about it would kind of insult the company. So they just keep it quiet and then when someone actually talks about it, then they'll start to talk about it too. And it's not just their Porsche 911 that does that. Um, uh, it's not just the newer models. It's from the very first model to, to the most recent models today. What do you think about this car? If you think it's good, don't forget to put a thumbs up in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. If you think this video was fun, don't forget to hit the like button. Do you think I missed out on some overrated cars? You can list them in the comment section. See you in our next video. Bye.